still waiting for my mug. Until then, I'm just gonna keep stealing Jason's. All ready for Quartz Fest tomorrow. Tomorrow's the flight at, at 5.30. I'm gonna have to get up. Oh, but I got the Explorer backpack almost all ready to go. I took out all the podium equipment and I put in all my electronics for the computers and cameras and mics and everything's charged. The charge table is clear. I forgot to mention, I dropped off lots of stuff over at Jason's trailer already and uh, he drove out with it and that's like chairs table and other stuff I just don't want to fly on the plane with and that is already there so I hey man I made my life easy <laughs> thank you Jason I do appreciate it also this wall plug it's like an extension cord thing it's it's awesome it plugs into the wall it gives you three additional outlets and it has USB plugs on it and USB-C for charging. I really recommend it. I got that and it charges almost everything. Um, I, I love it, I love it, I love it. Link in the description below. I think I'm done for now and I just got to go to bed because 5.30 comes early. So, see you. See, I told you I'll buy another bag. <laughs> Here we are, Wednesday morning, early Wednesday morning eating some breakfast right before the flight at takeoff 6.30. No, I'm leaving at 6.30, take off at eight o'clock. Keto toast, woot! I'm through TSA finally, and uh, no hassle this time. That's very nice. Uh, one thing interesting that usually happens on my trips, my checked bag weighed 23 pounds. My backpack weighs 26 pounds. I think I did that wrong. Oh well, everything I have to bring with me. All the electronics I don't want to check, the CPAP machine, the laptop, the camera. Adds up, man. All right, let's go ahead and get on the flight. Flight test, please prepare for takeoff. Here we are, Phoenix Airport. Next stop, Quartz Fest. Woot! Hey, hey, I got Charlie. Charlie picked me up from the airport. And we're headed to Quartz Fest. We just stopped for a quick bite to eat, and it was amazing. Pokey, I love Pokey. And here we go. Yay! Who are these sorry saps of people? Yeah. And it could be one out. In the middle of the desert? What are y'all doing out here? Who's here? Oh, Who, how did you get Tank here? Radio. I, I, I don't know. This, this guy. Blame this oh, guy. Here. Poor guy. Electra, come here, come yeah, here. Electra, yeah. Electra, Electra, Electra. I found Electra. <laughs> Before hamcation, I'm going to get a stabilizer so it'll be much steadier and a little bit farther away so I don't have to hold it anymore. Let's go ahead and walk around Quartz Fest a bit and see what's around. Mostly I'm looking at antennas. We have a hamstick dipole. Chuck spider beam here. And over there, there is another. I don't know what that inverted V thing is, or actually AV is. That's pretty cool. There is a UHF VHF antenna. I think this is a buddy pole right there. And then behind it, I think that is a vertical. Pretty cool. I'm going to head over there to the antenna farm. I think I see two or three of them. Another um, dipole there. I don't even know what that is. That's pretty cool. Got some loops there and a whip up on top. We have a UHF VHF right there. Another UHF VHF. And on top of it, I'm hoping there's also verticals on that tall guy. All the way up there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, where's my finger? There is ladder line going up to the top and there's a feed point finger right there. Focus, feed point at the top. So it is a dipole that he has stretched across and an inverted V is not showing up. But that's what it is. Got another buddy pole there in the center and a couple other verticals. Over here is another inverted V. I like how he has streamers there. That's, that's how you do it responsibly. You have a mast here and an XD commander here. What's strung between the two it looks like a uh, L antenna. 
maybe on 80. We have this mast right here. There's an antenna that goes to the one on the far way over there. That's a long one. And then we have a couple other buddy stick dipole antennas, another UHF VHF antenna. And they're just all around here. <laughs> oh, there's another mast over there. I'm going to call this guy the volleyball net antenna. There's three um, poles sticking in the ground and they're connected to each other. Flags. And they got marking flags across the way. Love it, love it, love it. A nice Yagi HF antenna. That's an interesting antenna. I was told that it's a slow scan TV antenna. That's awesome. And what are you going to do for internet out here? Starlink, 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 Starlink. Yeah. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.